The following is a presentation of TFNN. The TFNN Bull Bear Trading Hour. Every trading day, live at 10 a.m. Eastern. Call now, toll free at 877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The TFNN Bull Bear Trading Hour. Now, Tom and Tommy O'Brien. Welcome, folks. Appreciate your garage problem with us out here we have the dow industrials up 35 nasdaq up 54 s and p's up 10 and a half gold contract up a buck 14.27 an ounce you got silver up 19 cents 16 dollars 38 cents an ounce light sweet crude up 53 cents 56 dollars 16 cents a barrel notes and bonds you get the 10 year up two 30 year up 12 one 10 year at 127.19 30 at 155.04 and king dollar king dollar up 73 ticks trading 96 890 the euro is at 112 the yen is at 107.93 the pound is at 124.81 to one u.s dollar I think we got to go see what's going on in the NASDAQ. Look at this NASDAQ. Yeah, man. quite a charge. And the X100. So. Leading the way in positive territory right Yeah, now. what's driving this? Oh, here we go. This is positive for the NASDAQ. They're talking about the chips. Yeah, I saw Micron got an upgrade today as well, so go for it. Okay, so you got you got AMAT up 3.8% or a buck 81. You got Broadcom up 3.2 or $9.38. Lamb Research is up 2.8 at 5 or 5.55. And Western Digital is up 2.4, and uh, the thing Look you want to laggard Netflix. Yeah, Netflix is down 2.3. What's going on there? That's 308. This looks to me it's going to the bottom of its consolidation because what you had here, if we bring Netflix up, you're going to see gap down. Quite a continuation on that earnings miss. Yep, and you got you know that this it's a monster consolidation. The bottom is consolidation, man. Is it uh, 261 to 231? Yeah. So that's pretty intense. I mean, there's no doubt. That's and that earnings was intense. We talked about yeah. it last week, man. They, right. they were supposed to have about 5 million new subscribers. They came yeah. at like 2.7. They're actually losing people in the U.S. And they have the, the competitors aren't even here yet. As right. in, they got the, the, you know, all those services are coming online next year. Totally. Yeah. We go to Lead and I go over to AMAT. AMAT's uh, trading $49.63. And, you know, th these got smoked. There's no doubt. You know, we, we're talking about... Uh, uh, March of uh, 2018 it was at 62 bucks because now it's at 28. <laughs> Isn't that wild? It is more and, than a 50 percent haircut. Yeah, now it's clearing its way back. Yeah. Uh, if we stay with uh, the net Netflix deal for a second, Disney, Disney out here, um, you know, you're trading 140.72. The thing that's amazing is that you had Lion King come out this weekend. Yes. And all last week, every newspaper, folks, the reviews were like. Disgusting. Oh, really? Every single one of them. Well, guess what? They blew everything away. 185 million. You know? Yeah. So huge weekend. Uh, right now they have um, between Lion King, I believe they have six of the top films this year. Okay. Uh, and you know, Comcast, which is Universal, is like so far behind them. It's incredible. You know, so people want to go to these these movies. You know. Uh, yeah. You know, the Avengers uh, just overtook. Uh, uh, Avatar. Um, yes, for, for highest grossing ever. Highest grossing ever. Um, and, you know, what's going to happen, well, not, they're going to they're gonna keep going, there's no doubt. You know, if you take it to inflation, you, you turn it into a whole different ball game. But the bottom line is that they're winning everywhere. Yes. You know? Yeah. And that's not even counting, uh, what are they, they just opened a Star Wars attraction, so that's okay. not even counting that, you know, they're going to take these, these movies into their parks. Okay. Right? Yeah, right. They, can, they can monetize these so right. many different ways right. beyond just the box office. Right. Uh, pretty cool here, just kind of what you're talking about in terms of how many movies. So Disney headed into the weekend, in, headed into the weekend. So this isn't counting, I believe, okay. what, what just happened, with a 35% share of the the full year's domestic market. Um, <sighs> or more than $2 billion in revenue. That's more than double its nearest competitor. I mean, when you think about every single movie ticket sold in the whole country, I it's know. July 22nd. We're, we're almost eight months through, seven months through the year. Right. And they're pulling more than one out of every $3 um, out of that. When you got some, some huge competition, of course, when you're talking about oh. producing movies, the likes of which, you know, Netflix, all that business. Um, so, yeah, pretty Wild, cool. Right? Pretty cool. It really is. Yeah. And the, you know, they have plenty of other... 
films they can remake. <laughs> yeah, and you know, I saw, let's see if it's still up there, because there was another cool article that had to do with how much they bought that Marvel brand for. Yeah. Was it 48 um, billion, I think? Four billion. Four billion. Yeah. <laughs> and they thought that was a lot of money. And they've already reaped 16 billion. We'll pull it up at the break. Well, I the, ma the market had thought that's a lot of money at the time, but guess yeah. what? That, yeah, that, we'll that, pull it up at the break. But it was a cool article. I was reading it this weekend. Um, yeah, we'll find it. But staggering numbers, you know? Oh, yeah. Big time. Yeah. And then on top of that, just this. Then you get the streaming. Yes. So that's another flow that's right. that's going to be coming. And on this, you know, this is where I can see how it hits Netflix too, because yeah. Netflix aren't, is not going to have those movies. Sure. Right. You know, oh, totally. like if you're five or six, seven years old, what are you going to do? Well, if you're going to see Lion King first, yeah. <laughs> it's right. like okay, where are you going we with this? talk about it. You probably um, they're they're not they're they're all competing against each other, right? right. But Disney probably much more geared towards family. Yes. So maybe you get both. That's probably what Disney's trying to... That, that would be the goal, right? Isn't it great if you don't have to compete with Netflix? You say, you don't have to cancel Netflix, just get ours too. Right. But guess what? You might end up canceling Netflix. But they don't have to go for that type of direct competition because, yeah, families, no. you're going to... Right. Have to have Disney. My yeah, goodness. Totally. What are those poor children? You're yeah. not going to let them watch, you're, right? You're going to go to kindergarten, first and second grade. It's like, hey, have you seen that yet? Exactly. No, I haven't. Well, yeah. What do you mean? Why haven't you? We'll get that Disney Plus, right? Totally. Yeah. Let's go take a look at some of the... Um, Higher volume equities out here, and we'll see whether we get volume in this market today. You get Microns up a dollar, you get uh, Microsoft. Look, Microsoft came right back up two dollars uh, twenty cents. You get Apple up three twenty four. Um, let's go to Apple. We'll take a look at Apple for a yeah. second. Okay, so it's really not much of a move. It's, it's interesting because it's still in the same spot here. Yes. Um, they come out. I think it's August. They come out. No, July thirtieth. No. Know? We got lots of numbers this week. We sure do, man. Yeah. We got Halliburton today. That's up to 7%, I think. Oh, look at that. They yep. did pop, huh? Yeah, okay. Yeah. So what do they have to say? Okay, so let's see here. Let's see. Unit margin's flat, but the market's liking that, so as long as they've been going down for so long. Service pricing improving in Asia Pacific. Business in the North Sea is extremely busy. Now, the North Sea, if they can get that going, this is what ends up happening. So, picture, we have all the fracking here, right? The North Sea is deep water drilling. Okay. And that's where they need a Halliburton, okay? Okay. Uh, and if that gets busy, then, that, then these, you know, service companies can actually start doing some real business again. Um, Maybe one more down. We might have got there. There we go. Yeah. Um, earnings per share. Let's see. Continuous operations. Thirty-five cents versus thirty. Okay. Um, five point nine versus five point nine seven. That's actually a miss. Interesting. Operating income. That's a decent um, yeah. gain though. In terms of that's ten percent over what they thought, right? You're supposed to come in about five hundred. They come right. in at five fifty. Yeah. Not bad. Um, that's the, that's the market, a turn. No, the market likes what they see. Yeah. For that, sure. That's 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 a turn and where it's been for a long period of time because when you look at this chart you know look at this this is oh yeah you know Stop. we had a 54 handle i said in the yep. update last week on crude you yeah. know so um you start getting 54 handles man you're not going to be able to rationalize the cost of that deep dead deep drilling no so right. they need so some, yeah. 74 dollars in 2014 a couple months ago well the last three months 21 bucks yeah what and was oil trading at 2014 100 and oh big time yeah i'm gonna exaggerate 190 dollars no like 140 160, 120 yeah. Yeah, yeah yeah 877 927 give us a call folks dow dow industrial's up 13 nasdaq up 46 s p's up eight and a half we'll come right back If you're not currently using the Taz Profile Scanner when looking at setting up your trading opportunities, then your arsenal is short a mighty weapon. The Taz Profile Scanner is a standalone piece of software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, Taz understands that in today's technological world, the use of top-flight software applications and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. You also gain access to the webinar that Steve Dahl and Tom O'Brien just hosted, The Best Way to Use the Taz Profile Scanner to Profit. This webinar archive is available for all subscribers immediately upon signing up. All new subscriptions also come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. 
Start your subscription by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the TAS Profile Scanner under the Services tab. Sign up today. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate L. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow's uh, up to three, having a hard time holding price, actually. Uh, NASDAQ up 43, S&P's up eight. Let's go over to the Dow and see uh, what is holding the Dow up here. So inside the Dow, yeah, it's interesting. It's There's not a lot of downdraft, but there's not enough updraft. So you sure. got Johnson & Johnson putting 14 negative points, Boeing 11, Home, Home Depot 9. Uh, positive, uh, Apple putting 22 positive, Microsoft 15, IBM 10. Uh, so, numbers this week, we got some. Yeah, I was just telling you, man, even tomorrow. So, we got Halliburton today. You have the schedule in front of me. Tomorrow, we go JetBlue, Coca-Cola, Lockheed Martin, United Technologies, Snapchat, Visa, Chipotle. Mm. Uh, Wednesday, we're going to get Tesla, Caterpillar, Boeing, Ford, and Ooh. Facebook. And Thursday, we're going to get Google, Intel, Starbucks, and Dow. And Friday, we get McDonald's and Twitter. So, so it's going to be a full week. Oh, that's, a, that's a full week. Um, and especially look for, you know, Boeing on Wednesday. They're yeah. going to have a lot to talk about. Uh, Facebook on Wednesday and Google on Thursday, just some of the giants that could really hit the market. Yeah. We yeah. get uh, Boeing at uh, 375. What are they? The last time, I mean, they were saying they're going to write off five billion, but five billion. Well, we'll find out if it's going to be a lot or not. You know, market didn't think it was a lot because it right. traded higher, right? Right, right. Um, but that's also predicated on the fact that um, all is well by year's end, which they're going to have a busy five months for all to be well by the year end. So I don't know how. So that they, they have their gross coming down uh, by two point seven billion. Yeah, we did. Uh, they did 22.9 billion last quarter, looking for 20.2. Yes. And then you can see their earnings per share hit. That's a big hit. One dollar yeah. ninety-three versus three sixteen. I mean, it is a big hit in terms of uh, lowest revenue that they're going to have on this chart. Yes, you which know? is five years. Folks. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and and I would question this number <laughs> because yes. that I imagine is predicated on a rosy scenario, like we said, of how this kind of wraps up right 
And they got a lot of pieces to fall in correctly for that to work out well. They do. Yeah. Google. So let's take a look at Google. Google's 11.25 right now. The high is 12.89. There's some growth for you. They just don't stop, man. This is this is pretty amazing, folks. If you happen to be watching Tiger TV, only five years ago they took in sixty billion. Yeah. Hundred and thirty two billion this year. Yeah. My God, that just doesn't stop. It doesn't. I mean, even just going And next year they're looking for one fifty four. I was gonna say, so even going from twenty eighteen to twenty twenty, they're gonna add forty four billion dollars, which is more than like it's like a forty percent, thirty to forty percent growth on two years on hundred and ten billion dollars. Grow your revenue 30 to 40 percent over two years on 110 billion dollars. So if they keep that up, like what, 20 years? Oh, they're a trillion, right? Oh, well, they're way over a trillion. 20 years, compounding interest, man. 20 years. I don't, I don't. My my brain doesn't have that many zeros. We'll pull it up. We'll pull it up at the break. <laughs> because now it is. It'd be staggering. Isn't it? Oh, no, right, I maybe. know. It's that's pretty amazing. Yeah. And then Facebook. Okay, so Facebook is looking for. They're trading 200. Look at that. So five yeah. years ago, Facebook was doing $17.9 billion. And keep in mind, Another folks, company that just wrote off $5 billion for yeah. their woes. But yeah. yeah. And just keep in mind, in 2015, $17 billion was a huge amount of money anyway. Yes. And now we're at $69 billion. Yeah. And then next year, they're going to jump to eighty four. So they're growing by third wall. They're growing by 45%. Yeah, and the news out this weekend, kind of talking about Instagram, their product as well. Okay. They might be doing away with the likes. So you can't see likes. So like you pull up a post, you don't even know how many people liked it. So if Kim Kardashian had a post, you'd say, oh, 800,000 people liked it. 1.3 million people liked it. So it became popular. I wonder, I wonder why they're doing that. Uh, they want it to be about content, supposedly. They don't want it to be about just a popularity contest. And of course, you'd still be able to see your own metrics, numbers, yeah. et cetera. That's probably, uh, that's probably about what, how many folks you can basically hire in the business just to give you likes. Computer well, generated. Well, it would eliminate that right. part of things. Exactly. Exactly. Um, it would, yeah. as in, you know, paying for likes. Right. Right. Um, but we'll see. I mean, to me, it seems like the whole thing's predicated on likes. So I don't know how you make that change. Yeah. You know. No, I, I get it. Right. Yeah. Gold. Let's go take a look at the gold contract out here. Gold is hanging tough, folks. Uh, bottom line is that this baby uh, right now you're at uh, 1426. Now, if we bring up the continuous contract what you're going to see is that we got over the break top side but my take is that we, we you need it you need a, a break with conviction and with, what a break with conviction is and I'm pushing this right to the top of it you know because you know it's like technical analysis bottom line is that you know you could you could really take the the lower part of this is sure. 1392 but yep. the bottom line is that I'm taking the very top on this one sure. because it's 1428 and okay. I, I, I want to see that go with conviction meaning that we we got up last week you, you got over it but it closed under it yep. 1454 we went to we closed at 1426 yep you know you break this and I suspect we're going to then on the agenda is going to be this 1794 you know it's a nice setup there's no doubt about that yeah. but bottom line is that it has to get up and over it the longer you know we, we just got there so um, when you do look at the equities um, Many of them, they're, they're blowing out their highs. I mean... It's quite a chart. Yeah, Royal Gold <laughs> in particular is like that, that thing. And because this is a streamer and a royalty stock, folks, your probability is much higher that, you know, the physical metal itself is going to go. And then if you, you know, I'm Mr. Larry Pezzavento, who if you've never heard, or even when you do hear it, he's in an outstanding show, 8 o'clock, uh, 9 o'clock every morning. See these bars here, these wide-ranging bars? You know, we had... This is a monthly. So last, let's see. Uh, yep, that's June. Yeah, right. June, it went from 88 to 102. July, we've gone from 100 to 118. These, most of the time, and Larry taught me this, in a, these come in threes. You know, when you see these, man, these, these, this is like powerful, powerful moves. Um, silver, silver market that finally got a, a bid. Now, what's intriguing about the silver market is this. SI, no, SI U9, yeah, is that, that we've talked about this many times in the market in general, like the chicken or the egg, the ETF structure versus the physical gold or silver or whatever you're trading, like the NDX 100. Well, what has happened is that the money managers have piled into the ETF structures for silver. Okay. It's the largest holding they've ever had. Um, 
Let's see. Let's see where it says here. Yeah. I think I was, okay. Might have been right at the top. Oh, was it? Okay. Yeah, there it is right there. So the metals rallied 8% in seven days. Holdings and ETF backed by Silva at the highest on record. Money managed boasted their net bullish bets to a 20-week high, according to the latest data were valuable. Now, what's cool about that is that what happens is that, guess what? If you buy, if they buy the ETF structure right, the way the ETFs are set up, folks, the ETFs have to buy physical gold. So when you have this trend with you, it can really accelerate. You know, when the trend's yeah. against you, of course, it just goes the other way. Yeah. But that's a big deal. And what I really like about this article is that we're talking about the ETFs. We're not talking about futures. So if you're the money manager, you buy the ETF, well, you're in it. It's not costing you anything. Sure. The futures, you got to roll over. Different ball game. Do yeah. you know what I mean? That's more speculative, the futures, yeah. versus the ETF structure. Yeah. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back. We have the Dow Industrials down 20, NASDAQ up 43, S&P's up 6.5. We'll come right back. Hi, folks. Tom O'Brien here. If you'd like to get my daily newsletter, Market Insights, then now is a great time to sign up for a 30-day free trial. Every morning by 9.30, I send out my morning letter to subscribers with market commentary on a variety of markets, currencies, and commodities to keep investors up to date on the day's trading action. Included in Market Insights are specific buy and sell recommendations for stocks, ETFs, and even options, with stops and price targets included for every trade in my newsletter. If you'd like to try my newsletter risk-free for 30 days, then head over to the front page of TFNN and you'll find Market Insights under Trading Newsletters. I use my years of trading experience to bisect and dissect the market every morning and give my subscribers the most important information they need to know for the day ahead. I even issue afternoon updates for my subscribers whenever warranted with important market action. I'm always scouring the market for the next great trading opportunity. Sign up for your 30-day free trial to my daily newsletter, Market Insights, today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Wow! Go get them, folks! The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss Miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed Designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow's down eight. Nasdaq's up 46. S&Ps are up seven and a half. And uh, 
So we're talking goals, today, right? Yeah, yeah. Today's the day. Today is the day, man. What day is today? Nine hundredth edition. You got it, man. So nine hundredth issue of the Gold Report published this morning before the market opened. We got a sale going on the front page. Pretty remarkable. Congratulations, man. Thank Seventeen you. plus years of doing that Gold Report every single week. Uh, so we got a special. Tigers, Tigresses, you can get a year of the Gold Report for $495. The way you do this, you come over to the front page. You'll see the special on the front page. This is open to new people, so if you haven't tried it out, great time. Uh, current subscribers, current you to take advantage of this as well. Whether you're on the monthly plan, whatever you're on, you can transition to a yearly. If you have any questions, just give the office a call in terms of how to apply them or how to transition your members, your subscription. You end up paying $495. And with this, I'm going to backtrack a bit, you're going to end up with 695 Tiger Dollars, which is the exact price for the year of the Gold Report. So it's normally our Tiger Dollar specials, you know, you spend 500, maybe you get 600. Yeah. We've designed it so it's perfect. You got no remainder left, right? You pay 495, you're able to apply those Tiger Dollars, you get 695 right to a year of the Gold Report. It's more than like a 40% bonus on what you spend, and you got a full year of the Gold Report, and you lock in that price of 695 because we're going up on prices August 1st which is when this runs through. So it's just that simple. You get your Tiger Dollars, then you apply them to your account, and you can go purchase the Gold Report, or you can purchase anything else. So other subscribers out there, you want right. to take part in the celebration, you subscribe to, you are just talking about Larry Pesavento, you subscribe to Fibonacci 24-7, you can just get your Tiger Dollars. You're getting your, your, this is basically a Tiger Dollars sale, but we've designed it perfectly to the price point for six ninety five, which right. makes it nice for, for those signing up for the year of the Gold Report. But guess what? Tiger Dollars apply just as well to the opening call to Fibonacci, Mastering Probability. So you want a 40% bonus on whatever you're spending, you're out there paying the monthly rate of Fibonacci, well, that's great. You'll still pay the monthly rate. You'll just be able to use your Tiger Dollars. You know, right. you want to pay for the Gold Report, though, six ninety five. dollars So run through the end of the year, and a uh, heck of a deal, man. I don't think we've done more than a 40% bonus um, ever, maybe, um, on those Tiger Dollars. So check it out on the front page. And we get action. That's, That's uh, right, man. You know. So this run, so let's talk you about this. You got some good positions this. in there right now. I yeah. know you just put out a good, uh, nice yeah. new issue this morning. Some of those numbers, man. I mean, you just when these things run, they run. It is. You had a new buy well, last week, so you had a buy seven days ago, yeah. and what was up twenty percent already last week. Yeah. Um, staggering prices. Yeah, they. What happens in this market? If you've been in the market, you know, folks. They when they run, they run, and. It looks to me that this run... It's a decent weekly bar is, to initiate a position on this Monday. This is Pan American Silver, yeah. yeah. It went from 1290 to 1573. Not a bad week. And, it had, it, and what happens with these is that a lot of these equities, and it, we were talking about this last week, it comes down to the deal about what they can get ore out of the ground for and what the price is of the ore, gold, silver, copper, at this particular point. Be because these companies, folks, some of these companies take in so, so many hundreds of thousands of ounces, it doesn't take much being a dollar over the price. Sure, you know, right. it's, 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 a, it's actually a really tough business. I, I really wouldn't want to be in that business because what happens is that it's a, it's a business that politically you got to get it right. Then you got to get the ore right. Yes. Then you got to fix the land. Sure. Then you got to hope the price is right. Right. Because the the differential is very small. But that's when you see these things go. I mean, yeah. if gold's at you know fourteen twenty five, uh, what ends up happening is that exploration stocks, you know, as they're coming up, it, it'll turn around and say, okay, I can get gold out of the ground. Um, maybe it's eleven hundred. Maybe it's 14, maybe it's 15. Sure. And then when they get to that point, that's when they go exponential. And that's when, yep. of course, they get crushed on the other side. Right. You know, so. Um, yeah. There were a lot of stocks that were doing real well when gold was at 18 or 1900 in that run, you know, oh, yeah. Huge. But, but when it pulled back to 1200, I mean, they're basically worthless entities. Exactly. Um, and yeah. they got to stay alive. Right. That's, that, that, the real question then is that do they stay alive? Yeah, yeah. I'll show you. I, I, yeah, there's, there's, you can go through quite a few of them. And it, it really has to do with. The price they can get out of the ground and get it to you and me. Yeah, you know, let's say and, and deliver it to the end user and get that cash. Right. What has happened, which is really good, is this is Mark Bristow is one of the guys behind this, which runs Barrick Gold right now, and he started this like about 15 years ago, meaning making these companies. Now he couldn't make these companies do anything, but he was leading in the charge that listen, man, it has to, you have to deliver the real price. 
that it actually cost you. Not the price of getting the ore out of the ground without fixing the ground after the fact. And so now you see more companies that actually do that. And so let, what I mean by that is that let's say that you know, you're at 1425, a company saying that they're getting it out of the ground at 1200. Well, does that count that they're going to need another hundred dollars an ounce when they finish this mine 20 years from now to bring that ground back? Because legally in every jurisdiction, that's what they got to yeah, do. You can't just leave an open pit. And to, that's really important. Yes, definitely. You know, and so the accountability is much better even now than when I started the gold report sure. in, in a big way. And, and they're trying to get it better. Yeah. You know, and we'll find out what gold companies have tended to do. Uh, is as the gold price goes up, then they spend way too much money for all the other gold companies. Yeah, you know, it's like gold's at you know fourteen twenty six. Especially the big ones, they got to grow. They do, right? And then, and their spread is small. But yeah. as I said, the spread's small. But if it's millions of ounces of gold, well, yeah. you start doing millions it. of dollars. Yeah, it's, it's, and you get earnings on some of those gold companies coming oh, up this we week. Oh, so many as of them. Well. So yeah. great time to sign up for the gold report. Yeah, let me there. see. But I, I know I was reading through all the equities yeah, you had the, in there, and I was like, yeah, well, here, the there 20, you go. 24th. Yeah, so Wednesday, Thursday this week. Um, we it's got huge. Some, yeah. it's, it's a big number. So yeah. an eco eagle, let's see. What, and what will end up happening, I don't believe we're going to get the acceleration of uh, price in this quarter because this quarter ended. Well, you can see, even with an eco eagle, they're looking to take in $510 million, And then next quarter, they're looking for 681 I suspect what that is, you know, is the aspect of the price of gold. You know, because let's see, this is uh, I don't July. Think they would have tweaked that that quick over that price of gold. Oh, they're not updating their third quarter projections on a weekly basis. That's all I'm saying. You know what I mean? I don't think that that number is going to be tweaked that quick. Yeah. Well, I'm not quite sure where it's coming from. Then um, let me just see something. Royal Gold. Yeah. Let's see. They're in different quarters, though. They. Yeah. Yeah. But that just, uh, they come out. So the Royal Golds, they're looking to go from 109 to 120. The stream is absolutely, when they, we're, we're evidently at a price of gold right now that is really good for the streamers. Sure. You know, right. because you're talking Six about gross highs. price. Six yeah. year highs. Exactly. Gotta like that if you're in the royalty business for a commodity, and that commodity is at a price you haven't seen in six years. Right. You better be doing well, man. Otherwise, right. right? Yeah. Yeah. We'll switch gears for a second. Let's go to the defense. Uh, Lockheed Martin. So this will be interesting okay. to see. Yeah, I believe tomorrow, uh, right? Is that what I said? Yes, tomorrow yeah. oh, pre-market. There we go. Yeah. So the low for the year is 241. The high was just reached this month, 373. Hundred billion dollar company. Not yeah. bad. They're going to be looking to take, uh, well, it's kind of steady, actually, 14.2 to the bottom line. Okay. They got 100,000 employees, I think I saw. Yeah. Aeronautics, 21 billion. I think it's still growing. They are. Still growing. It's big amazing. numbers, big numbers. Big numbers, and you can grow. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Dow, Dow's down 5, NASDAQ up 49, S&P's up 8. Tommy and I come right back. If you're in the CD market and looking for a secure investment, the Tiger First Mortgage Program may work for you. The security for these first mortgages are building lots in the Tax Opportunity Zone in St. Petersburg, Florida. The Tax Act of 2018 set up tax-free zones across the country where you can build and hold for 10 years and pay no tax on the profits, which makes these lots valuable. The investment is anywhere from $30,000 to $75,000. The interest paid is 7% yearly paid on a monthly basis. According to Bankrate.com, the best rate for a four-year CD in the country as of February 20th is 3.1%. A $50,000 investment at a normal four-year CD rate of 3.1% would give you income of $1,550 per year or $6,200 over the four-year period. That same $50,000 investment in a Tiger First Mortgage Program would give you $3,500 per year or $14,000 over the four years. Which would you prefer, $6,200 or $14,000 of interest on your investment? If you would like more information about the Tiger First Mortgage Program, you can call me at 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. If you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. 
From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get that competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow's down 10. Nasdaq up 47. S&Ps are up 7. Notes and bonds are hanging tough. Um, and so what we have here is that last week you had the Fed governors out everywhere yapping. Yes. Now they, uh, they, period, they have to right? be silent. Yeah. Okay, so, you know, that always gets intriguing. They uh, got to keep their mouths shut. It's pretty amazing that it's, you know, uh, middle of next week is when um, we get that Fed meeting, yeah. man. Um, you know, it seemed like it was going to be... A little while away, <laughs> July 31st, middle of next it's, week, yeah. and there it is, yeah. Probability of a cut, 100%. And then September, we're at 65. September 18th is the next meeting. Yeah. Uh, and that will come pretty quick, too, 45 days, 48 days after, after it. So, and what's actually remarkable is that we're at 65% for a cut, but we're actually at 80% for a cut. You see, because you add these two, we're, we're at least 80% at least. I mean, there's a 15% chance that we get, somehow get three cuts in the next two meetings. Yeah. So there's actually more than a 65% chance that we get two cuts by September. Right. As in, there's almost an 80% chance that we get two cuts by September. Um, the numbers get a little crazy when you start breaking it down like that. They it do. It really is, they, right? They really do. Um, the market thinks that they want to cut. That's the bottom line for sure. Yeah, and so right now, I think we're at 2.03. Yeah, on the 10. Okay. And, uh, you know, we keep looking at this 10. Look at this yield. A little volatility, man. Oh, it has been. No, yeah, this, we're at 1.93. We were at 2.13. Yeah. Now we're right in the middle of kind of that, that right. bounce around range there, you see. Yeah. yeah. Uh, la the last low was at 1.93. That was yeah. on the, is that the 3rd of July? Yes, it yeah. is. Right before the 4th. And, okay. you know, when you look at this, the 1.71 still sticking out. It's the, it's the bottom of the election. Uh, that's the week of the election. Yep. That was quite a month, man. Uh, it race went from 1.71 <laughs> to 2.4 market, in a month. Market had a, a little bit of a tough time figuring out where it wanted to go, and then once it figured it out, it took off it, across the board, whether it, it was markets, dollar, bonds, the whole deal. Yeah, and, you know, will... Pretty crazy that we're right back down there, though. Oh, it's heavy, man. Just, um, just getting ready for 2020. The market's recoiling. Yeah, getting ready for 2020, all right. I'm telling you. Yeah. Uh, the, the real key is going to be here, like... Are we really going into that 1.71 or 1.35? Yeah. And yeah, yeah. Let's look at that. So because this the is debt interesting. Limit. Yeah. Oh, it is. I mean, if they get a two-year debt limit, we haven't had a two-year debt limit extension in a while, I believe. Um, to put that kind of off the plate all the way through 2020 yeah. um, would be a good thing. Hopefully, hopefully, the elected officials on both sides want that because it shouldn't really become part of politics, paying for the bills you already spent. So I would hate to see that come into the 2020 fray. Um, so hopefully that's what they're thinking too. You know, let's not have this be a political problem right. as we have the election looming because then, you know, 
each politician is going to get on their stump, et cetera, when nonetheless That's folks, right. This would bring it over it, which is that's good. A, that's this brings a, exactly. it to July 31st, 2021. Yeah. So let's see. So it says Congress and the White House are on the brink of an agreement that would raise the debt limit until 20, July 31st, 2021. Uh, let's see. The deal uh, that's in the final stages would offset about $75 billion of the spending increase, giving Republicans about half of the savings they sought. The question remains whether Trump will support the agreement. Time is running short. Let's see. Four people confirmed that the deal is imminent. Um, Mnuchin warned that the U.S. risks missing debt payments in early September. Let's see. The Fed, the spending increase that Pelosi and Mnuchin have tentatively agreed to, estimated cost $350 billion. Um, so, it, well, just finish. Okay, it, it, but it, so Trump officials have been pushing to offset that spending increase for the military and domestic agency budgets with savings and entitlement programs. So they want to cut Medicare and Medicaid okay, to make yeah. up for the three hundred and fifty billion that they're going to push into the military okay. and domestic agency. Yeah. So that's the kind of probably the battle there in terms of all of those cuts coming from Medicare and Medicaid. That are not subject to these annual budget caps. Right. Um, so that's part of that. And yeah. So let's see what else it says. White House late Thursday floated a menu of savings options worth $574 billion from which Pelosi could choose. Yeah, I'm sure those were gems of choices. Um, what to include in the deal? Pelosi resisted offsetting any of the spending increases in the compromise emerging Monday, suggests that Trump officials will get about half of the $150 billion in savings they sought. Um, White House offer also proposed extending caps on defense and non-defense discretionary spending for 2021 and 2022 to save another high $516 billion. But this request has been left out of the final deal, two people said. Lots going on. I think it'd be a good deal if uh, they pushed that off two years because this did not used to be a deal. And we definitely have a problem with our debt in this country. And both parties got to pull that together somehow because it's getting a little crazy, especially at a time when we're at full employment and the market's marching on. Uh, not to get too political, but everyone likes to point to, you know, Obama 2008, 2009. Yeah. We, we were losing about a million jobs a month. Yeah. That's a time when you can have a deficit. The time to have a record deficit is not when you're at full employment. That's right. a big problem. Oh, yeah. Um, and this is interesting. So in, in here also, folks, you know, uh, Pelosi had also sought $22 billion needed for veterans' health from counting towards the budget cap. People familiar with the negotiations say she's unlikely to get that. You know, you, you see this on a continual basis, man. I mean, yeah. they send everyone off to frickin' war, and then they don't take care of them. I, I agree. mean, and that, that's going all the way back since I went to service. Yep. I mean, it's the, it's the people always say, oh, yeah, thank you for service, this or that. But guess what? It, it, never, it never comes we down. We just passed a tax cut, $1.5 yeah. trillion dollars yeah. that just got added to the debt for basically corporate profits and share buybacks, right. and then we can't, you know, pass a deal to help the veterans, pass a deal to help those 9-11 first responders without oh, saying, what about the debt? Totally. Well, come on. You should, today, this is what's really cool, folks. We know that the, I mean, the, the Wall Street Journal, you know, is conservative. They've been coming out, though, factually with some numbers that are so cool. There, there's an article in there today um, about the amount of money that these companies have, have not paid and saved legally a big a big corporations have not been taxes you're yeah, talking about right okay. it's a great article i yeah. mean you read it and you just can't oh, i'm sure it's, it's staggering it, it, it is staggering we it's, just it's, added it's, trillions it's, to our debt it's, it's pretty for amazing that tax cut so now this is pretty cool though also i'm just swap I'm, I'm moving around a little bit the inside of the this budget right and, and the budget's going to go through so this part of it's going to go through if you do happen to be a veteran right this is now this is in the housing business and I, I think it's going to do a few different things to the housing business what will happen on january 1st right the way that it works is if you get a va loan you can do a va loan with no money down um up to four hundred and thirty seven thousand down here if you're in boston there's a there's it varies a, there's, by there's area. an uptick right. okay well what happens the the new rule is there's no limit okay Okay, which is pretty intense. That is. So that's going to mean, and the way the limits had been established, folks, always since this started, is Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac limits. Whatever those limits are, that's what they were. Yes. Well, they're getting rid of that. Now, I think two different things are going to happen. That I'm glad it's going through. That being said, though, I can't picture Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac like six months down the line saying, hold it, why, why can't we go more? Do you know what I mean? So this is going to be the beginning of another debt bubble. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't understand why. And I love that. Why? Why to? Why to? I mean, this is supposed to be something to help 
veterans get a home, right? To yes. help Fannie and Freddie Mae, to help somebody get into a first home. Right. It's not supposed to be able to allow affluent that, people that's to right. get a 0% loan on a million dollar property. But that's what you can do. And that's my I point. Don't that, why. No, I, I agree. Yeah. I, that's that's what I start, Hopefully Fannie and Freddie does. I start looking at it. I says, you know what, man? This is Because this there's higher risk for defaults when you put 0% yeah, down on a yeah, million dollar totally, property. It's supposed totally. to be home ownership. Yeah. Oh Stay boy. right there, folks. Come <laughs> right back. I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best in everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12 12, 6, and 3 months. Timer Digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well. The fact is, markets can be timed, and I'll teach you the exact set of tools that I use that has transformed me into one of the best at what I do. Sign up for Mastering Probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of TFNN.com and get immediate access to workshops where I take you step-by-step -step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. Sign up today. It's amazing to think that Tom O'Brien started his weekly gold report 17 years ago with the first issue published April 7th, 2002, when gold was trading at under $300 per ounce. Gold peaked at more than $1,900 in 2011, and after spending many years consolidating at lower prices, gold may be poised for its next big run. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, South Africa, African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. As of April 1st of this year, the Gold Report currently has eight active positions with an average unrealized profit of almost 8% for each open trade. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your Gold Report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't let gold's next big run pass you by. Sign up today. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow is down 61. NASDAQ is up 32. S&Ps are up 2.5. We have a question of the Tigers then. Where, um, uh, let's see, uh, am I uh, uh, looking for the S&Ps to do a substantial decline? Uh, what I'm looking for first <laughs> is this S&P to finish the ABC structure up that it's in right now, which is 3,055. And we're okay. at 2979. Where's the A and the B on that? We have two different ones. Uh, the the 3055, I believe, is this one right here. Is that. Uh, that's the B? That's the B, which is, uh, what is that? 2969. And then. Below 2732, so 260 points. 2969, yeah, 260. Yep, so that'd be 31. No, that's 31. That's, that's right. It. Okay, that's not it then. Then this is the one. This here it is right here. This is the one. That's gonna be a point. Yeah, twenty nine fifteen, right? Okay. Uh, twenty three thirty two. Twenty seven thirty two. Yeah. 
Let's 29, see. 15, about 180 points. There you go. Yeah. So that puts and, it at 3,050. Right. Now we did another one. Okay. I, I'm not even okay. taking the other one. So okay. that's what I'm looking for. Because, the, the, you know, hey, we'll, we'll, and I think the way it's lining up is that it seems it's lining up for window dressing. It's lining up for the big earnings coming out. It's lining up for the Fed cut. You know what I mean? It's like, sure. okay, you know, as we run there. And then bottom line is that, that that's the shorter uh, deal, the longer deal that I think we're in this just monster consolidation and that we will come back down. Uh, and the longer consolidation is the, this is a big deal because the longer consolidation would be down here at that uh, 2346. Okay. You know, so you still have to get back inside 2939, you know, because we're in another range now. Sure. You know, if you don't come back inside there, guess what? You know, rates are going to zero and uh, money's all over the place. Man. Companies printing profits. Stay right there, folks. We've got Fast Market coming up next. And we got our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, Steve Rose, Dave White. We'll be back this afternoon. Thanks, pal. Thanks, man. Wow! Look at him, folks.